Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. Last Thursday, federal prosecutors charged a high-profile Massachusetts Institute of Technology mechanical engineering professor with the fraud, alleging he failed to disclose extensive ties to and the funding from the Chinese government in grant applications to the U.S. Department of Energy. Professor Gong Chen was arrested at his Cambridge, Massachusetts home Thursday morning. Dr. Chen is 56 years old. He was born in China and is a naturalized U.S. citizen. He was charged with wire fraud, failed to file a foreign bank account report, and making a false statement in a tax return. The top prosecutor in Boston said, Dr. Chen appeared to have acted out of loyalty to China. The Trump administration has worked to combat what it views as aggressive efforts by Chinese government-linked entities to improperly obtain U.S. academic research and conduct other alleged meddling at the U.S. campuses. Federal prosecutors have brought more than a dozen criminal cases accusing academics of lying about receiving Chinese government funding or alleging that visiting researchers lied about their affiliation with the Chinese military. Joseph Bonavolanta, special agent in charge of the FBI's Boston Field Division, said the FBI is opening a new China-related counterintelligence investigation about every 10 hours, and nearly half the agency's 5,000 active counterintelligence investigations are related to China. Prosecutors said Dr. Chen, an expert in nanotechnology was working with the Chinese government at least as far back as 2012. He was asked by the Chinese consulate office in New York to work as an overseas expert for the country. He became a recruiter, helping Chinese programs that identify academics who could help its efforts in science and technology innovations, according to the prosecutions and had other roles with the government and other Chinese entities. They say he took steps to hide some of those ties, including asking an MIT colleague to remove from documents about a thermal energy company he set up in China any reference to his role as a participant in the People's Republic of China talent plan. Prosecutors said that since 2013, Dr. Chen has received $19 million in federal grants from the U.S. In that time, they say he also received $29 million in foreign funding, including $19 million from a public research university in China funded by the Chinese government. While serving in several advisory roles for China between 2017 and 2019, Chen had applied for and obtained a grant from the Department of Energy in order to fund a portion of his research at MIT. In doing so, prosecutors said he failed to disclose information about his ongoing affiliations with China as required by law. In addition, Chen also allegedly failed to disclose to the IRS in his 2018 tax return that he maintained a Chinese bank account with more than $10,000 in 2018. The wire fraud charge carries a sentence of up to 20 years in prison, three years of supervised release, and a fine for of up to $250,000. The charge of making false statements provides for a sentence of up to five years in prison, three years of supervised release, and a fine of $220,000. The charge of failing to file a foreign bank account report carries a potential sentence of up to five years in prison, three years of supervised release, and a fine of $220,000. MIT said Thursday it was deeply distressed by Dr. Chen's arrest. MIT believes the integrity of research is a fundamental responsibility, and we take seriously concerns about improper influence in U.S. research, the school said. Professor Chen is a long-serving and highly respected member of the research community. 
which makes the government's allegations against him all the more distressing. Some of the academics charged with hiding their ties to China have pleaded not guilty and are fighting the charges in court. Several others have admitted to wrongdoing, including an Ohio State University rheumatology professor who pleaded guilty in November to lying on federal grant applications. He admitted that he worked to hide his affiliation and a collaboration with a Chinese university in order to leverage millions of dollars of grants to advance Chinese medical research, according to a document filed in connection with his plea. Another professor from West Virginia University was sentenced to three months in prison in July after admitting to lying about Chinese government funding he received. Prosecutors in September dropped another case that had accused a visiting Chinese scientist at the University of Virginia of stealing trade secrets from his professor, after the university acknowledged the scientist had been authorized to access some of the material in December. A professor pleaded guilty to lying to federal agents after he was accused of using his position as an academic researcher at the University of Texas Arlington to steal technology for Huawei Technologies Corporation. The Justice Department's top national security official John Dermis has described the arrest of several academic researchers last summer who allegedly lied on their visa applications about their status with China's People's Liberation Army as being the tip of the iceberg. U.S. officials didn't previously know that so many visiting Chinese students had links to the Chinese military, he said, adding that more than 1,000 such researchers have since left the U.S. On Thursday, President Trump signed the National Security Presidential Memorandum on Supporting United States Research and Development which outlines how the Chinese are attempting to steal technology, including through China's Thousand Talents program. The memorandum also offers recommendations for universities, private companies, and a non-profit that may get federal grants, or money for research and development to protect U.S. intellectual property and prevent research misappropriation. If the recommendations are not followed, federal funding will be withheld. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and a subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly.